Tenth Club, uh, welcome. Hello. Uh, Glad to we be are here. extremely happy to welcome you here at uh, Adopt AI in Station F. Uh, big setup today with an uh, amazing audience. Um, so, Octave, you are the uh, founder and chairman of uh, VH Cloud. Uh, very happy to have you, you with us. Um, as a cloud provider, are you enthusiastic about AI? And uh, what's possible today? Oh, you know, w AI is just the next generation of what you can do with the computers and data. So, you know, when I started a long time, we knew that we will have something like that. When you put a lot of computers, a lot of data, you will create something new. And this is exactly what is right now is coming. We knew that we will have this kind of the breakthrough of the technology. And now we have, because of the LLM, because of this uh, uh, new way of consuming AI, we have this happening right now. And it's pretty easier to use all the technologies for the end users and the uh, big companies. And uh, how do you see this technology evolve? How do you see this technology evolve? OK, about the technology, um, <clears throat> you know, you need four things to, to run the AI. You need, uh, of course, uh, GPUs. You need the hardware. You need the people, because you need to uh, have the algorithm. So to the third part. And the last part is data. So it has four different uh, things that you have to put together to build something that makes sense. And all this development is really to put more and more compute, more and more data, and to crunch all this data, compress all this data, and to make something that makes sense for the customers. So the really thing that changed last year is that it's really easier to use that, because you have just one API, not 200 APIs. One API, before we had the API to translate, to create the images, to have the, all these things, uh, uh, different things. Now you have the one API, you have prompt, and you can choose in this way what you want from the AI. So that's changed totally the way of consuming AI. And then you have the new kind of the algorithm and the more data to anticipate different kind of image, different kind of the uh, request, the prompt. So. It's now, I would say, the, the, the technologies, the readiness of the technologies is better for the customers. Still, there's a lot of challenges, and challenges that are also of the business models. Yes, uh, yes, indeed. Um, actually, what are the concrete impacts of AI on the cloud industry? What, what are the concrete impacts of AI on the cloud industry? OK, on the, you know, there's, there's different things of the cloud providers. Um, on our side, what we see that because you need more and more data, you have to have all these new technologies to, to store the data, but also to, to crunch the data. On the data centers, for example, you see that we've been talking about something that is about 10,000 GPUs to train the model. Now we are talking about the 100,000 GPUs that to train the models. That is a huge step, because you need data centers with one gigawatt of the energy. You need a few different uh, uh, nuclear centers to bring all this power to the one place. So a lot of, lot of let's say, a lot of uh, uh, really physical issues that you have to solve before you can start the next level of the training. So the question will be, how many data centers like that you will have in the world? Five? Ten? How many of them you will have in Europe? Because you have, of course, different kind of the issues, ecologic issues, consumption of the energy, a lot of concern about that. So this is really one part that is really interesting to, to, to address. Another part is really about the data. Where is coming from? What kind of the data you use to train the models? This is public data. This is you, can, you have the right to use this data. And then, of course, you have to uh, improve the model 
during the every week, month in the future. So also you have this contract, let's say the 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 relationship with your customers. Can you use the data of the customers to train your own model and to give that to the every customer or not? So we have a lot of new issues that it's just right now on the table that you have to solve to create the next generations of the the same, let's say, LLM, because we, today, today we're talking about LLM, or the next generation of this kind of the technology. So it's really interesting uh, moment in the history of the cloud providers, because there's a lot of opportunities. But at the same time, the step is really huge to bring this technology available for the customer. So, Octave, we speak a lot about technology, but uh, what about business model? Yeah, I've been talking a little bit about the business model, you know. <clears throat> At the end of the day, you have to make money. So who is making money today? NVIDIA, of course, okay? They're selling the GPUs, they make revenue, they make EBITDA, and they make free cash flow. How about the cloud providers? Cloud providers, they're making money, they make EBITDA. I'm not sure yet that everybody will make the free cash flow. Why? Because the cycle of the life cycle of the GPUs is shorter. Okay, after four years, five years maximum, you cannot use the GPU anymore. Okay, so you, when you invest, when cloud provider invests in the GPU, you have about 48 months to make money. Then you have to change everything. So. Be why? Because the, it's not the question just of the uh, silicon. It's also the question of the software that is a, 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 you can run on this uh, GPU, on this silicon. And you have this double uh, innovation about the silicon, but also on the software that use this silicon to compress in the better way, to put the data not in the 16 bits, but 8 bits and the different innovations on the software side. So if you have this cycle of the, of the investment, you have to think about what will happen in 12 months, for 24 months, and how you will make money. So this is all about the cloud provider. But the most important part is about the customer. How the customer, why the customer will use, would use AI. And the answer is to reduce the cost. So in another way to talk about that is every time that someone is investing in the GPU, how many employees lost the job? And it is good investment or not? Can you have the better performance of the company about 20, 30 percent because you use AI, or you will have the gain of the productivity, and you will not have a need to have more people. So the question is how to use this AI inside of the companies and to create this improvement of the uh, performance of people. And here we have we are struggling with a lot of projects. You have a lot of POC, let's say, a lot of POCs. Everybody is trying the things because it's really exciting. It's really easier than it was before. Now, we still have to find the business models that make sense for the customer. And what we see that it's roughly one project on 10 makes sense. All others, this is trouble that has to be improved. Some of them, they are not good at all. So we are in this phase that changed totally from the last two, two years. Before it was, OK, AI is cool. Maybe tomorrow. Maybe for why we will wait. Now it seems that it's ready. Readiness is better. We can go. And now we are exploring and to finding where we can use this, all this technology in the different kind of the usage. So it's really important to talk about the business model of the customer enough of this chain of the value that you have before that. Now the question is extremely important and actually you raise the, the good question on that. Um, more macro, how are France and Europe 
um, can be the champion in AI? Oh, you know, you have all this, all the GPUs, you have Nvidia that it's pretty monopolistic company, okay? They have some technologies, all these calculations about the matrix and the vertical, all this uh, AP, IP that they have, okay? Now on the, you have all this middleware, you have the LLM, you have the, the MLOps, you have all this engine. This is where Europe can play. We have the good uh, people, engineers, to create the new models, but here in Europe, in France. But also we have to think, when you think about the customer, LLM alone, it doesn't solve all the issues. It's not the question about, I have one LLM, very big, very powerful, and it will solve everything. It's totally false. It has to be a combination of a lot of things working together and the connected, linked together to answer the, the questions, the prompting of the customer. So here, there was a big room to be smart, to be faster, and to create something for the, for the, on the market that makes sense for the customers. And here, I think, with not so much money, we are not talking about the 100 millions, you can create the product that makes sense, even if you make sense for the customers, very close to the ChatGPT OpenAI, but it's based on the uh, open source LLM. Because you can use all this LLM in the certain way, smarter way, together, not just one, but a lot of them in the standard situations, and to bring on the market something that is better in the specific vertical that you want to address. Well, so you, you made a lot of uh, AI-related announcements uh, recently. Can you give us a quick overview? Oh, yeah, we, we announced some GPUs, of course. Uh, uh, the last one is really to reduce the cost of the uh, inference. Uh, L4, C, L4, the, the things like that. Also, we, we are building the endpoints or the LLM. But also, you know, I'm an I'm, I'm entrepreneur, okay? So I'm thinking about the next uh, generation of the product that we can offer for our customers. And also trying to see if it's the right place to build that in OVH, if it's the right place to build that outside, how to, how to create the product that makes sense for, the, for customers. So there was few things that will be announced soon also, I hope that we'll announce very soon, about the startups, about the different things that I would like to bring uh, alive and to bring the new, new products for the customers uh, soon. So, you know, we, this moment is really exciting moment because a lot of things, it's possible. There was a lot of opportunities. Still, when you think about where the money is coming from, what is the business model, this is the way you have to think about all this chain of the value. If you think just about the technology, how beautiful the technology is, how, what, how much does it cost, how you will, you know, how will create this technology, and you don't think about the customer, you don't think about the, how he will make money, you will fail. And this is what we see about a lot of startups. They invested a lot if the, let's say, computation, without really creating the value for the customer and to making the ROI on the investment. So for me, it's really a fantastic moment, but think about the revenue, not just about the capital of your startup. Octave, uh, it's a great interview. Maybe to conclude this, uh, this discussion, um, how can the companies uh, adopt AI massively? You know, you, you have this, the, the, one of the revolution was really this chat, a very simple way to talk with, let's say, to exchange with the AI. And the next step of that is you talk to the, to the AI. So the simplification of the relationship that you have with the technology definitely helps to adapt. And, and this kind of the, this kind of evolution, it's really uh, the proof 
of concept, very the, the proofs that this technology you can put just in the iPhone smartphone and to bring to a lot of people. And uh, this is the proof that we've been waiting for to have this hype that we have today that everybody talks about the AI because it's really simple and everybody starts to adopt and to use in the professional world all this technology. So you have to have this, let's say, B2C approach, evangelization about the technology to prove that it's easy. So then the companies, the big companies, the professional, they will start to use that because they said, oh, it's so easy. I understand how it works or I can deploy that for my, for my business, so I want it. So we are on this, in, this, in this moment, and this is very exciting. Definitely, and uh, it happens very, very fast. Octave, thank you very much. It was a... Uh, thank you for your invitation. Thank you, bye-bye. Very inspiring uh, discussion.